Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening, Ara Arabella. Good evening, Max. Good evening. I, I good evening. tengo una pregunta. <laughs> yes. Eh, Podrán incluirme en el WhatsApp, que yo no fui a la primera reunión y no estoy en el WhatsApp del grupo. Ok. Eh, escríbame su número acá en el chat, porfa. Ahí va, ya Gracias. se lo mandé. Ok, ahorita. Gracias. Yo me encargo de agregarle al grupo de WhatsApp en unos minutos cuando terminemos la, uh, después de las 10, ¿ok? De acuerdo. O eh, más bien, le voy a enviar el link nada más para unirse al grupo, ¿ok? Perfecto. A mí se me, se me olvidó ayer entrar, pero el, el teléfono le avisa a uno, ¿verdad? Sí. <risa> Correcto. Solo segundo, perdón. Ok, no hay problema. Okay. So guys, uh, let me I know I know that you're watching the national the national um how would you say that the national broadcasting national broadcasting but noise One second. Okay, that's better. Thank you. I know you're watching the national broadcasting from the president. I know it's very important, but I'm concerned. We're only five here. Let me just make sure. On the other hand, I'm happy about it. Okay, so on the other hand, I'm happy about it. About the about what the national broadcasting? No, only five online. You can focus only on us. Oh yes, totally. Yeah, that's kind of good, you know. But we should all be here. <clears throat> okay, guys. Um, Good, let's start the class. Um, today, we're going to continue with the platform. We're just gonna go through a quick reading exercise, okay? I don't know if you did that, if you performed the exercise on your platform. There was a reading, okay? If you notice, there was a, a very um, useful tool you can click here and that will maximize the uh, image. Okay, and you can make it bigger. So let's see, the, the reading, it's about a guide to unusual museums. So I'm gonna start by reading the lecture so you can see how it is done. And then you will practice and then I will select some of you to practice the ring. I think we lost it, right? Hold on. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, Ad Adelina, <laughs> Madeline, <laughs> Madeline. Okay, hello. Hello, good, welcome. Okay guys, so this is the reading. Let me make it bigger and then we'll go part by part. So, a guide to unusual museums. Look see. at the pictures and scan the article. Article. Where do you think you can see very old objects? A working factory? Historic cooking tools? Do you like museums? Have you been to the Louvre in to the Louvre in Paris? The Museum of Anthropology, <laughs> the Museum of Anthropology in Mexico City, 
or any of those other must-see museums, well, now it's time to go off the bidding path. Hmm. To go off the bidding path. Keep taking notes. I don't know what is this. To go off the bidding path. Hmm. Okay. To go off the bidding I don't understand yeah. it either. Here. Google it, Max. If you may. Okay. The bidding path. I have an idea, but Let's let's see if we all can make sense to it, okay? Let's continue. So, the Kimchi Museum. Listen, the Kimchi Museum, Seoul, Korea. If you don't know, listen, if you don't know about kimchi, a trip to the Kimchi Museum is an eye-opening experience. The museum was founded in 1987, I'm sorry, 1986 to highlight Korea's rich kimchi culture. culture. The exhibit includes displays of cooking utensils and materials related to making, storing, and eating the famous pickled vegetables. The museum also provides details about the, his the history and nutritional benefits of Korea's most beloved side dish. Finally, stop, listen, finally stop by the souvenir shop to try various types of kimchi. Okay, now Max, help me. Okay. Where? The Museum of Gold, Bogota, Colombia. The Museum of Gold, Bogota, Colombia. If you want to see beautiful objects, the Museum of Gold is the place. It holds one of the South America's most stunning collections because the, because the exhibit sparkles so brightly, you can actually take photographs without using a flash on your camera. Not everything is made of gold, though. So among the exhibits are ancient pre-Columbian items. Many of them are made from a mixture of gold and copper, known as tumbaga. That's okay. it. Good, very <clears throat> good. Repeat. Actually. 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 Re repeat actually. again, please. Actually. So it's three parts. Actually. 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 Now okay. faster. Actually. Got it. Now do it faster, Max. Actually. 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 There you go. Actually. Okay. Repeat. Exhibit. Exhibit. Yeah. The stress. The stress is on the first syllable or in this case, vowel. Okay. Here. Exhibit. Exhibits. 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 Very quick. Exhibits. Exhibits. There you go. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay. And the last one. Madeline, help me. Okay. The Chocolate Museum, Cologne, Germany. And the Chocolate Museum will teach you everything about chocolate from cocoa bean to candy bars. You'll learn about chocolates. Uh, 3,000 year history and discover how it was once used as money in South America. A real chocolate factory shows you how a, a real factory shows you how chocolate is made. After you finish the tour, you can sample a compliment, complimentary drink of rich, gooey, gooey, pure chocolate. Perfect for those with a sweet tooth. Okay, very good, Madeline. That's awesome. I love your English. Very good accent. <laughs> Let, do, let's, you, do you yeah. think it was good? It was good, right, guys? It's really Thank good. you, teacher. Thank You're you. awesome. Now, let's correct this. 
we need to practice this mouth position, Madeline. Mouth. Look. Do it. <laughs> Take out your tongue and, and blow air. In which in which word? Do it. Come on, Madeline. Do it with me. Yeah. Okay, now repeat. Thousand. 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 Yeah, it's thousand. a Z. Thousand. It is a thousand. 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 That is correct. Thousand. 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 Let me do it here. So I, what I'm I, saying I is. Saw, I, I told you thousand. Ah, yes, I understand. A thousand. thousand. There you go. Look, look at the screen. Yeah, thousand. Thousand. Th read it. Read it. Thousand. This is the way it is. You see this? Yes. That's thousand. the way. Thousand. 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 Repeat. Thousand. Repeat. Zapato. Oh. Zapato. Yeah. Tendemos a decir zapato, ¿verdad? Uh, zapato. Ay, zapato. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and what, what about zapote? Zapote or zapote? Zapote. zapote. With the zapote. Z, right? A yeah. Z, yeah, as well, a Z. Okay, so it's the same thing. Zapote. Um, So you say zapote. three, look at me. Three. Three, three thousand. Three, three thousand. There you go, three thousand. Three thousand. Es probable que se muerdan la lengua al principio, pero así es. 3,000. 3,000. 3,000. 3,000 year. When you produce the, the number 3 or the number 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. okay, there you go. It's the same thing. Yeah. 30, 3,000. Okay. 3,000. Repeat. 3, used. 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 Okay. Used. 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 Mm -hmm. used. Here, used. So, used as used. money, repeat, as uh, money. Madeline, Madeline, used yeah. as money in South America. South America. Okay. Por eso le estoy señalando la TH, que les decía, mm -hmm. la lengua se pone en medio de los dientes y se sopla a veces. En estos ejemplos se sopla. South, 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 South America. South America. Ajá, seguimos diciendo used South, South. America. Madeline, no. look, look. South. 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 Ahí. Casi, casi. South. 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 Perfect. South. South America. South America. South America. Okay. Used as money in South America. Repeat. Yes. Used as money in South America. Better. Okay. Now, this word. Oh, by the way, you were reading the word chocolate. Very good. Chocolate. 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 There you go. That's the right pronunciation. And you were Chocolate. doing it right. Very good. Made. The past of make. Make. Made. 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 Mm -hmm. yes. I was made for loving you, baby. You were made for loving me. And there you go. Made. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. I like singing. Yeah, we love singing. Okay, repeat. Uh -huh. Tour. 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 There you go. Tour. Finish the tour. Finish the tour. You may say tour, but make it a little bit fancy. Fresa, remember, fresa. Okay, tour. finish the tour. 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 Finish the tour. There you go. Perfect. Okay, and again, the TH. Tooth. Th. Tooth. 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 Yes. Perfect. Okay. There Thank you go. You. Do you have any questions, guys, with these pronunciations? Mm -hmm. Hello? No questions with these new words? No? Okay. I'll no. send you I'll send you right now the um, the reading. Okay, that picture. So you can pull it up on your thingy on your whatsapp and you are going to read it together just one time okay and that's it we're going to read it together i guess it's a link so i cannot oh well actually yes i can download it give me just one second
Yep, that's not working. I'm gonna have to open it and send it. Okay, so I'll split the class right now and please keep an eye, keep an eye on your WhatsApp so you can practice WhatsApp. in groups, okay? Okay. You're gonna be in trios, let's go. What's up? Let's go. Iris, I think you are not in a group, are you? Okay, thank you. Okay, Lisa, the Kachim Museum, South Korea. Museum, repeat. Museum. 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 Seoul. Seoul. Korea. Okay. Korea. Go ahead. Okay. Um, okay. If you don't if you don't know about kimchi, a uh, trip to the kimchi museum is a is a nice opening experience. The museum uh, was founded in 1986 to highlight the Korea. Korea rich kimchi culture. The exhibit includes exhibit, exhibit include, include, includes know, includes a display of cooking utensils know, and material uh, related to making a story and eating the famous pickles vegetable and the museum also provides details about the history and nutritional benefit of korea's most uh, beloved side dish finally stop by the souvenir souvenir shop to try uh, various types of kimchi okay Who's next? Okay, my turn. I will read the Chocolate Museum. Are you there? Hello. Sorry, what? Max? Oh, okay. I'm going to read the Chocolate chocolate mu Museum. Yeah, try, the, the point of this exercise is for you to read and the rest listen and identify any new words the pronunciation as, oh, okay. Ma as max reads and also guys if you if you find out that max said something wrong then you later you tell him hey max is this word? okay i was correcting yeah that's that's good max thank you okay thank you okay i'm going, going to win the chocolate museum then okay the chocolate museum will teach you everything to see a beautiful object, the museum, the goal is the place is how long of South America, most uh, a stu a student college, because the exhibit is part is partly to Britain, Britain, you can actually take photo photographer without using a flash, a flash on your camera, flash, flash, sorry, 
flash on your <laughs> camera. So everything is made of gold. Throw among the exhibits are answers for a Colombian. I think many of them are made from a mixture of the gold and copper known as Tumbago. Tumbago. <laughs> okay. What do, you, what do you think about what do you think about the this topic? Uh, that 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 there are uh mission of museums of of wow. I like to go to Play. to know this uh -huh. museum. Yes. Yes, uh, mm -hmm. sounds interesting, but uh, about the the three examples, I prefer a museum from Colombia and the Germany, <laughs> so the chocolate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> chocolate. Uh, Are you done? I'm not too much. Are you done with the readings? Uh, did, you, did, did you finish? No, no, I... No, lack, lack. I read the last one chocolate right now. Museum. Remember, okay. it's cho cho chocolate. The cho chocolate museum. The chocolate museum will teach you everything about chocolate, from cocoa bean to candy bars. You learn about chocolate three thousand years history and discover how it was once used a money in South America. A real chocolate factory shows you how chocolate is made. After you finished the tour, you can sample a com complimentary drink of rich um, Hue pure Chocolate, perfect uh, for those with a sweet tooth. Okay. Go perfect, there. very good. That was great. Okay, look, repeat. Camera. Uh, camera. <laughs> okay, it's not camera, camera or camera. It's camera. 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 Now you say pre Colombian, pre Colombian items. Pre Colombian items. 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 Okay. Next word. Tour. Pre Colombian items. Tour. 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 Mm -hmm. tour. Let's go on tour. Let's go on a tour. Let's go on a tour. Let's go on a tour. Go on a tour. <laughs> and then you have gooey. 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 Okay. Gooey. Gooey. Okay. Gooey. We will see it. Gooey. Find now, find new words on this lecture. New words. Go through the reading again. Take a look at the reading and write down new words. Got it? Okay. New words, let's okay. go. Okay. Okay. This museum is in Colombia. In Colombia, I I don't hear about the this museum in my life. <laughs> Sorry, um, there's a lot of noise in the background. I know um, you didn't get the image, yeah. Jennifer. Yeah, I got the image. Okay. Okay, let, let's go back to the main session, okay? 
Okay. Thank you. Let's go. Yes, teacher, I read. Red and red, rojo. I don't know. I, I have a trouble. I have a mistake. No, it's red. the same pronunciation. Red, red. Red, red. It's the yeah. same the pronunciation. It's the same pronunciation. It's oh. just those are homophone sounds. Homophone sounds. Yes. The same as stairs. Teacher, I have your your help. Because I have a children's, my students, I have a students, uh, she, she, no, they are six years old and I, and I am their teacher. Really good. That's awesome. You're teaching them English? I need, help. <laughs> I need pronounce, That's my pronunciation is, um, I need, I need well. I need to improve. improve. I need to improve my pronunciation. Okay, good. So practice. That's all. Just practice, practice, practice. Okay. Uh, yeah. You can visit a website called Rong Chang. Rong Chang. I don't know if it is dot com. I think it's dot com. Um, yeah, you will find there a lot of um, a lot of exercises on audio, audio exercises to practice your pronunciation. Wrong yes, term. but just look at the look at the chat, okay? And okay. make sure you save you save that that information, okay? Just save the information. Thank you. So you can have it handy. There is the link, okay? These are audios and the script. You have the script and you can listen. Read and repeat. Listen, repeat. Listen, repeat. And then don't translate. Don't translate. Just listen and repeat. In my mind, in my mind, no translate. No translate. Perfect. That's yes. I, I don't transfer. I don't I don't translate in my mind. That's good. I don't translate in my mind. Okay. Let's see. What words were difficult for you on the reading? To pronounce. Mm -hmm. mm. Let's practice. Go to the chat. Text the new words that you found. Don't repeat. Don't repeat the the words. Okay. So if if for, oh by the way, Madeline. Yes. Homophones. Stare. 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 Uh -huh. Stare. 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 Oh. Stare. 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 Yeah. yeah. Homophones. Homophones. Son. Homophones. Homophones. Yeah. Yes. Homophones. Son. Here. Son. Is there sound like like the verb that means that you're you're looking at someone? Yeah. That, that. Stare. Don't close your eyes. That stare. <laughs> yeah. It's the same. Stare, stare. Okay. Let's go with gooey. Who looked for that word? What is gooey? I don't know what is gooey. What's gooey? Uh, Oh yes. I, I didn't knew. know that. <laughs> yeah, I I'm sure you knew it, Max. I'm sure you knew it. Da -da 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 Who are you gonna call? <laughs> Ghostbusters. Yeah, do you remember? Well if you if you ever if you ever watched the the well if this ever happened to you, you were watching you were watching the Ghostbusters in Spanish and suddenly and suddenly the signal went to English. We're like, oh. No, it never no. happened to me, but, happened but, to but I know where you're going. Gooey. Gooey, yeah. Pegajoso. There you go. Okay, let's say, oh. so that's gooey, gooey. Among, what is among? And that's that's the name of the, of the, of the ghost. Entre. Entre. That's the name of the entre, ghost. Pero varias. Oh. Among, very good, Aline. Now let's try Three. to, Let's try to use English. So, for example, Iris, Iris is among us. You it's see? Among all the, the students. Among. Yeah, Arabella is among us. But you are between uh, Oscar, Mahana, and me. 
Yeah, but a monk is not in the center. Okay, where is Jesus? Where is Jesus? It's among us. It is among in the in the uh, it's among no. us. <laughs> it's among us. You got it, Veronica? Okay, good. Veronica, hello, Veronica. Hello, man. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Come on, girls. Let's have I a coffee. I okay. the numbers. Sorry. <laughs> All <are> my friends. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Let's move on. Stunning. 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 Amazing. That's Amazing. good. Use, now, I want you to use synonyms. When we're looking for the meaning of a word, start using synonyms. You know what are synonyms? Synonyms. Yeah, synonyms. yeah right? So, uh, what will be uh, stunning is like amazing, fantastic. Amazing, Great. Fantastic, incredible. Incredible, yeah. Okay, beloved. Beloved. Something very fun. Something very. Something you're, you're very fond about. Beloved, you're very fond about. I'm not following you. Hold on. Beloved. When you are loved by someone, maybe. Is that what it is? Mm, maybe favorite. Mm -hmm. No, loved. Like you are loved by your parents, so you are beloved. You are beloved. No. Yeah. Arabella. Uh, beloved uh, is, I think, is um, uh, less or. Ay, no sé cómo decir abajo de algo, la parte de abajo de algo. Okay, yeah, that, that's like below, below. Below, under. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think I'm missing an L there, below. That's the preposition, Arabella. Yeah, I'm missing the ah, other L. Okay. Oh. Below. Yeah, that's right, below. Okay. Okay, okay. other question. Yes. Uh, uh, among what is different uh, with between? Okay, yes, sir. Okay, thank you, Arabella. Let me, mute. Want... Let me mute you because there's a lot of noise on the background. Okay, I was saying, I am among the students. I am yes. among the yes. students. But I am between Madeline and Oscar. Yes. I am between Madeline and Oscar. Okay. Yes. I am among the students. The center. The center. I'm not in the center. No. no yes. I'm in the middle. At left. At less than that, right? You are. You are in the center. Yes. The sandwich. You are the cheese. Come again. Uh, in the sandwich, I'm the cheese. Yes. Between. Between, between, I am the cheese. Is... Uh -huh. The cheese. Ah, I'm okay. the cheese. Okay. But if, let's continue with the sandwich, okay? If the cheese is on the top, and then you have the bread, the cheese is yes. among, among the sandwich, is among the sandwich. Okay? Entre. Entre y entre, I know. But one is in the middle of something, and among is somewhere in the group. Ah, okay, okay. Got it, okay. Okay. Let me give you the specific place. Exactly, yeah, like Arabella is among us, Jennifer is among us, Elvis is among us. Veronica is among um, and, a group, a group of uh, the students. And in the group, group of students, yeah, it's the same, the same example. Jesus is among us, Jesus is among us. Among us, yes. Maybe that's the best example. Mm -hmm. Okay, pickled. Use synonyms, synonyms, pickled. Pickled, I don't know the word. Pickled. Oh, let me see. <laughs> this is what, this is, if you don't find a synonym for pickled, when, use an example. Is what you when, you, when you grab something and 
put it in a basket, for example. It is not that. Mm, I don't think so. Like tomatoes or something. Pick. You pick. pick. Or it's like a spacey? Spacey? No. Mm -mm. no. It's something that you eat with pupusas. Oh. I prepare. I prepare pupusas. Yeah, let me I find the. Let me find. Can you give me the context? Where is pico? Uh, yeah. Yes. It's borrowed the pico. It's borrowed the pico. It's salsa. <laughs> Sauce. So, oh, there it is. Okay, and eating the famous pickled vegetables, eating the famous pickled vegetables. So yes. that's that's escabeche. Escabeche. Uh -huh. Curtido. Uh -huh. What? Escabeche. Yes. yes. You say pickled. Now yes, th this pickled okay. vegetables. Pickled vegetables. Vegetales en escabeche. Vegetales vegetales en escabeche. Okay. I was using pick as, pickle as a <laughs> verb in past tense. <laughs> yeah, it's just as an adjective, actually, in this case. Okay, let's move on. Photographs. Listen, photographs. In this case, in this case, the PH sounds yeah. like an F. A PH sounds like F. Photograph. Photographs. Photographs. Excellent. Vegetables. 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 Yes. Vegetables. Very good, Nolene. Vegetables. 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 Okay. Vegetables. Next one. Vegetables. Sparkle. 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 I don't know. That's good that word because Sparkle. I'm not sure of the meaning. Veronica, good. S Sparkle. 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 Okay, let's move on. Below. Oh, well, that's it, right? That's it. Okay, let's continue with the class. Good job, guys. I'm but sorry. Yeah. Uh, if I mute you, is because there is a lot of noise on your background. So be careful, okay? We're in the class. Try to be on a shh, quiet place, so we don't we can listen. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. So let's move on. The next. Uh, oh, come on. The next part. I'm a little bit confused here with you. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Other okay. Things. If you check the platform, we are supposed to check the present continuous, right? The past continuous, right? Present continuous, mm. yes. I past understand. continuous versus simple past. Simple past. Mm -hmm. Simple past continuous versus simple past. Who remembers the past continuous? Do you remember the past continuous? Yes. Yes. Can you give me an example? Um, I saw, I saw a bird. What is that? Is that past continuous, Max? No, Oscar, what do you think? Is that past continuous? I saw a bird. Oh. What is past continuous? Give me an example. The simple past. Sorry, I was watching TV yesterday. I was watching the B. The B? The B? TV. TV. Oh, TV. I was watching TV. That is past continuous, Madeline. Ah, yes. I was, I was singing. A song. I was singing a song. I sang a song. Yes. I, I sang, sang a song. song. I was singing a song. <laughs> you got it. Like this. Okay. Like the song. I sang a song. I can't remember that song. Yeah. I, I know what, what song you mean. Good. Okay. Let's watch the video really quick. And then we're going to talk about this grammar topic. Okay. Please pay attention. about past continuous versus simple past. Hi everyone, are you ready? Let's go on now talking about past continuous versus simple past. I want you to listen and take a look at this. This is a timeline. Notice both actions happened at the same time. 
but one action began earlier and was in progress when the other action happened. So we may say, I was reading a book when you came. What you just listened to and saw was the intro to this new topic. Now we'll play the audio program so you can follow and understand it better. Remember to stay there in the explanation and take notes. Past Continuous versus Simple Past Use the past continuous for an action in progress in the past. Use the simple past for a completed action. I was watching a good movie, but I fell asleep before the end. I was working at a boring job when someone offered me a much better one. While I was shopping one day, a celebrity walked into the store. I will begin talking about simple past because we have studied this before. So let's review. Simple past. When do we use it? We use simple past to express that an action started and finished at a specific time in the past. Read the following examples. They went to the movies. He came home. She drove my car. I will leave you with the structure of affirmative, negative, and questions just for you to have it in mind and practice it. Now let's talk about past continuity in mind and Okay, uh, so I'm using all the resources on the platform, okay? So you can go to the platform, check the information again, okay? This is the structure for the simple past. Do you have questions with this? Hmm. There is something wrong. Hay algo mal aquí. There is something wrong. Let me check. That formulas are okay, but we're missing the verb to be. Mm -mm. No. Look at this, Max. This is simple past. So this is wrong. That plus, oh. that plus sign, okay, this plus sign is incorrect. Okay, so you have a subject plus the verb in past. Remember, simple past. And then the complement. Simple okay. past, simple present, the same formula, the same formula. What, same what changes? What changes is number one, the verb is in past simple, past. and the auxiliary Auxiliar. is not is not do. What is the auxiliary for the simple past? Did. Thank you, Madeline. Okay, do you have didn't? Did. Okay, got it? Got it. Okay, ¿alguien tiene alguna pregunta, por favor, que estoy seguro que todos están entendiendo esto, que ya entendieron este tema antes? No. Okay. Verónica? Yeah, I think uh, the only... Hello, uh, yes. only when change the, the bear uh, was in where? Was the subject? Thank you. Okay, veamos un poco el español. Vamos a recordar algo muy importante. Okay, so. Okay, eh, no sé quién está yendo al presidente. Bájenle el volumen, por favor. Okay, so vamos a ver. Les decía que este más no va aquí. Porque el indicativo es que el verbo está en pasado, así como está acá. ¿Ok? Solo que aquí tendría que decir verb past. Y esto es la forma en la que yo les decía que hicieran su tarea. Aquí faltó explicar en el video que la estructura, ya, profundizar un poco más en esto, en esta fórmula. Aquí está positivo, negativo, and this is the question, right? Esta es la pregunta. Entonces, la pregunta de Verónica, sí. Solamente en positivo, el verbo va en pasado, pasado simple, cuando una acción ya terminó. 
solo se realizó una vez en el pasado. ¿Ok? Si digo, comí frijoles, ya estuvo. ¿Ok? Eso es el pasado simple, the simple past. Comí frijoles, I ate beans, I ate beans, that's it. ¿Ok? Negativo sería, I, ojo, didn't, didn't. I pero acá el verbo Madeline vuelve a su forma base, como lo hizo Madeline ahorita. I didn't eat. I didn't eat. I didn't eat. I didn't eat beans. In, in present, y the verb. The verb goes in present. Correct. The, el verbo vuelve a su forma base. Y lo mismo ocurre en la pregunta. ¿Por qué ocurre esto? El 90% de las reglas gramaticales, de las estructuras gramaticales, el auxiliar va a ser al que se le agregue el not. Ojo. El not, yeah. ok. Ese auxiliar también lo voy a traer en su forma positiva al principio para hacer una pregunta cerrada. Que solo puedo decir yes or no. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Yes, did you, you did. Eat beans? No, I didn't. Repeat. Did you eat beans? Excellent. Did you eat beans? Sí. Entonces, en este, en el pasado simple, el verbo vuelve a su forma base. Al estar presente, ¿quién? El auxiliar. auxiliar. El auxiliar. auxiliar. Sí, te va a pasar cuando estás haciendo verb. la tarea. The helping verb. The helping verb. Excellent. Exacto. The auxiliary. Ok. Let's continue. So, eso es el pasado simple. El pasado simple ocurrió una vez. And that's it. Ok. Let's continue. Let's look at the past continuous. And practice it. Now let's talk about past continuous. This tense has more than one use, but this time we will use it to describe an unfinished action that was interrupted by another event or action. Take a look at the following examples. I was sleeping when the dog barked. She was... Um, okay, perdón por el error ahí del audio. Eh, les voy a corregir eso rápido para que lo entiendan. Cuando tenemos dos S juntas, ¿sí? Unimos la pronunciación. ¿Cómo sería acá, Vero? Uh, I, was, I was sleeping. Perfect. Perfect. Así. I was sleeping. I was sleeping. I was sleeping. No hagan una pausa como se ve en el audio. I was sleeping. Mm -mm. I was sleeping. I okay. was sleeping. That, that's new. That's new? That is new. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Working when he had an accident. You were painting the house when you ran out of paint. Take notes on the following. We have these two words, while and when. While it is usually used with past continuous and when it is usually used with simple past. In other words, we use while plus long actions, past continuous, and when plus short actions. Ok. Esta sería una forma nueva para mí de explicar esto. Está algo confuso, pero igual. Tiene mucho sentido. So, let's see. While quiere decir mientras. While, mientras. When. What is when? When, cuando. Cuando, right? So, while I was having lunch, the alarm went off. When I was having lunch, the alarm went off. Mientras estaba... Almorzando. Almorzando, ajá. Uh -huh. Madeline? No, no, la alarma. La alarma? Sonó. Uh -uh. Se apagó. Yeah, bueno, se apagó. se apagó. Very good. Max, continue. So here, when yeah. he was watching TV, when somebody knocked the door. Do you want me to translate? Yes, please. Él estaba viendo la TV cuando alguien tocó la puerta. Perfect. Cuando. Okay. Entonces, ¿qué estamos viendo acá? El uso del pasado continuo. ¿Cómo se llaman cuando van a las dos? Eh, las dos oraciones así juntas, cláusulas. Sí, sí, las dos cláusulas. cláusulas. Ahora, lo que estamos tratando de entender es que en el pasado continuo, como la acción es continua, yeah. se ve interrumpida o se puede ver interrumpida por una acción en pasado. 
¿ok? Y para explicar esa acción en pasado, es decir, while une una serie de acciones. Listen, I am, um, let's say that today is, so yesterday I was teaching online while I was eating and drinking coffee, while I was chatting on the phone, while I was watching TV. ¿Todo eso ocurrió? ¿En qué momento? In the same in the time. Past, but in same the same, time. at the same time. It's like women. Women can do 10 things at the same time, the right? Same. You can iron, cook, be on the phone at the same time, watching TV, watching the kids. Different actions. Wild, 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 wild. Yeah, all at the same time. At yeah. the same time, different actions. Past continuous. Okay. Now, using the past simple, we need to use when. So, vamos a aplicar esto, okay? Ahorita con un juego. Let's finish the video really quick. Yeah, yes, sir. Simple okay. past. Finally, before we go on using both tenses in one sentence, I will show you the structure for past continuous. Listen and follow it. For affirmative, subject plus was, were, plus verb, ing. Negative, subject plus was, were, plus not, plus verb, and ing. Questions, was, were, plus subject, plus verb, ing, plus question mark. Mm -hmm. Past continuous versus simple past. We often use the past continuous and the past simple tense together. The past continuous is often used with the simple past to show that one action was in progress when the other action occurred. I want you to take a look at this diagram and try to make sense of it. Now work on the following statements. You may do it with your own information. For example, you may say, last week I was driving when I got a flat tire. Remember to use both tenses just like I did. Okay, let's practice yes, together. We are 10 right now, so I will make you a question. Okay. And you all have to answer that question. It's very simple. So I will make the question first to Madeline and Madeline will make the question to Veronica. Veronica will pass the question to Ninive and Ninive to Iris, Iris to Max, Max to Oscar, Oscar to Elvis, Elvis oh, to Jessica, yay. Jessica to Arabella and Arabella to Patricia and we're gonna finish with that. Okay, so what's the <laughs> question? I so quick. I <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. Okay, so. Like this, what is the question? The question is, what were you, uh, what were you doing when I called you? Okay, so let's pretend, let's pretend that you have a phone, you have a cell phone, okay? And I will say, ring, Madeline, ring. Answer. No, answer. Madeline, answer. Ring. Ah, what were you doing when I called you? That's me. Wait. Okay. <laughs> You're not getting it. Okay. Uh, Madeline, answer the phone. Ring. Hello. Uh, okay. Veronica, answer. Ring. Hello. Hi, Veronica. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Veronica, what were you doing when I called you? Oh, I was cooking. Perfect. Oh, I'm sorry. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I understand, I understand. Okay, Veronica, call Madeline. Okay. Green, green. Hello, Veronica. Hello, how are you? <laughs> fine, hello, Madeline. Um, uh, what were you doing when I called you? I was studying with my students. Oh, sorry. Uh, I called you later. Okay. 
Okay, see how that's simple. Continue. Uh, Madeline, call someone else. With uh, um, Max. Uh, ring. Ring. Hello. <laughs> Answer. Oh, hello. What were you doing when I called you? I was feeding my dog. Oh, sorry. Uh, I I called you later. Okay. Okay, Max, keep going. I don't know who to call. I'm I'm on a phone and I'm, <laughs> uh, I will call Elvis. Elvis, okay. Ring ring. Ring ring. Hello. Hello, hello, Elvis. What were you doing when I? Hello, Elvis. Hello, Elvis. Hello. Hello. Good evening. What? Good evening. What were you doing when I called you? I was eating my dinner. My dinner. Oh, sorry. I interrupt you. I called you later. Okay. Thank you. Elvis, call someone. Uh. Uh, sorry, Jennifer. Jennifer? Who's Jennifer? Uh, Jessica? Yeah, Jessica, sorry. Hello. Jessica, Jessica Rodriguez. Hello, Jessica. How was? How were you? How, how was, how was you, you when you called you? Okay, let's Hello. repeat the question. Hold on, let me show you the question to make sure you do it right. Here's the question. What, what were you doing when I called you? Hello, I was reading my new book. Okay, I don't, 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 sorry, how do you say molestar? Bother, bother. I'm, okay, so you say, I'm bother, sorry, I'm sorry to I'm bother sorry, you. I don't, I don't bother. Repeat, Elvis, bother you. I'm sorry to bother you. What? I'm sorry to bother you. Perfect. Okay, no problem. And bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> okay, Jessica, call someone. Um, Oscar. Okay. Um, Ring. Hello. Hello, how are you? Fine, and you? I'm fine, thanks. What were you doing when I called you? I was sleeping. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry for you. <laughs> I'm sorry for you. <laughs> doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter, yes. <laughs> okay. okay, I call later. I call. I will uh, call you later. I will call you later. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. <laughs> Thank okay. you, Oscar. Uh, Nineveh. Ring. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Ninive. What were you doing when I called you? I was watching Netflix. <laughs> oh, sorry. I called you later. Okay, don't worry. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, what? We're missing Arabella. Ooh. Okay. Arabella. And Iris. Mm -hmm. Okay, Iris, uh, ring. <laughs> ring, Iris. <laughs> what were you doing when I called you, Iris? I took a shower. Oh my God, I'm sorry. <laughs> I yeah, will call I'm, you later. <laughs> I was taking a shower. I was taking a shower. I was taking a shower. Okay, perfect. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, yeah. let's go, Iris, with Patricia. And then Patricia with Arabella. Ring, ring. Hello. Hi, Patricia, how are you? Hi, fine, and you? Fine, fine. What were you doing when I called you? I was driving. Oh, I'm sorry. I could not hear. Don't worry, I, I, I <laughs> crashed my car. Everyone. Don't worry, I crashed my car anyways. <laughs> Okay. Patricia, go with Arabella, please. Arabella, ring, ring. 
Hello. Hello. How are you? Hi, thank you. What were you doing when I called you? I was doing the homework. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Okay, so remember, it's like an action in the past interrupts the action in the past continuous. I was cooking. When? When you called me. Uh, okay. I was studying with my students when you called me. Okay. I was sleeping when you called me. So uh, an action in the past. Yeah. When you called me. Tell me. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, Jessica. Uh, what's the meaning bo bother? Bother. Bother. Don't bother. Yes. I'll be fine. Don't bother me. Bother? Oh, bother. I remember. I don't know. I don't want to use Spanish. This means, as well, uh, annoy. 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 Yeah, annoy. Yeah. To annoy someone. Annoy. Okay? okay. Molestar. Okay. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, guys. I gotta go. Después de ustedes, tengo otra clase siempre de 9 a 10. Okay, siempre me paso unos minutos. But don't worry. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Take care. You. Bye -bye. Bye. 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 Friday. Good night. Friday. Yeah, Friday. This week we have class tomorrow. 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 Okay. okay. Thank bye -bye. you.